Today we're going to talk about surgical options for lower extremity neuropathy. And all of us as healthcare providers have seen patients or, or have been referred patients that have had pain in their feet or their lower extremities and we basically uh, haven't really been able to offer them much. But today you're going to meet a series of patients we're also going to discuss about the surgical management of peripheral neuropathy. There are a number of patients like our first patient here, Kathy, that have diabetes or do not have diabetes that actually can be helped with nerve decompression of the lower extremity. Nerve decompression of the lower extremity is actually not a new operation. It's one of the most common upper extremity or hand operations performed. And one of the most common operations that a hand surgeon will perform is carpal tunnel surgery. Most of us have actually taken care of patients that have had symptomatic relief of burning pain or numbness in their fingers from either carpal tunnel release at the wrist or even cubital tunnel at their elbow. And a lot of the lower extremity nerve decompression surgeries for the treatment of pain, burning, and numbness of the lower extremities were figured out by hand surgeons, in particular A. Lee Dellen, who as a hand surgeon would operate on patients with upper and lower extremity neuropathic symptoms such as pain, burning, and numbness. As a hand surgeon, these patients would undergo surgery by actually releasing the compression on the nerve at the level of the wrist or the elbow and sometimes even the radial nerve on the forearm and these patients would get almost an instantaneous relief of their burning pain and the numbness and the tingling that they would have. Dr. Dellen would notice that these patients would come back and tell him, Dr. Dellen, my hands are great, I wish you could do something about my feet. And for years, people were telling their patients that I'm sorry, we can't do anything about your feet, that's neuropathy. But what we're going to learn today is it's actually not true. Just like patients can have compression neuropathies or compressions of the nerves of their upper extremity that can be helped with surgery, there are nerves in the lower extremity by the knee, the ankle, and the top of the foot that can be helped with a simple outpatient procedure to relieve the pressure on the nerves to help reduce or eliminate their pain, help restore their sensation, improve their balance, and help reduce the incidence of wound healing problems. And so today we have Kathy, and I'll introduce her in a minute, but I'd like to give you a little bit of her history and then have her also tell you in her own words just exactly how she felt and, and how she felt going through the operation and what it was like. But when Kathy and I first met in October of the year 2003, about a year and a half ago, she was 61 and she complained basically of burning and numbness in her feet that she's had bilaterally for 15 years. She described her pain as severe as a 10 out of 10, as an aching, shooting, burning, continuous, numb sensation. She had been tried on amitriptyline and all sorts of other medications. Um, she's got some degenerative arthritis in her back, but no um, problems with her back that required surgery. Because of the pain that she had, it was difficult for her to diet and exercise because it's difficult for these patients to actually walk. Um, she did not have a history of diabetes, but did have some, uh, some of the risk factors for metabolic syndrome. Um, on examination, when we find patients with neuropathy, we actually tap on the nerves over known areas of compression to see if they actually have a positive Tinel sign, which means when we tap on the nerves, if they tingle, that suggests two things. One, that the nerve is still alive and might be saved with the operation. And two, it suggests that there is an area of compression over that area which could be causing their symptoms. So I'd like to now focus on Kathy and introduce her introduce you to her and have her basically just tell you in her own words exactly how she felt when she uh, came to see me. Well, the pain in the bottom of my feet was uh, so bad that it, it stopped me from wanting to get up and walk or exercise or do anything. And uh, it, it, the sensation was the numbness, but when I got up on my feet at, to walk, the pain, uh, it was like walking on the bones of your feet, you know, and that's the only way I can explain it. And and it was just, it's beyond to tell anybody exactly how much it hurts, except, you know, you try to stop yourself from crying, it hurts so bad. And what did your doctor uh, do for you, for the pain? Well, he uh, uh, put needles like in my legs. He said I did have nerve damage. Right at first they tried five different kind of medications 
for me. And uh, after I'd taken them for so many months, and it didn't help the pain at all in my feet. And uh, so I went back to him and I told him, you know, there's no sense in taking this because it's not helping me. And he says, well, mainly the, what we tell our patients is that they, they have to learn to live with the pain. You know, there's pain management and everything else, you know, and, uh, and that's what was left to me. There was no other choice. Now, some of our patients are actually referred to a specialist called a neurologist. And they're oftentimes uh, seeing patients with uh, neuropathy and nerve problems. And they oftentimes do a test that's described as sort of a painful test where different needles are put in their legs to actually uh, find out about nerve damage. Did you have one of these tests called an EMG, or did you see a neurologist about this? Yes. Uh, he stuck uh, needles up and down both of my legs. And um, uh, it really didn't seem to hurt me because he, he said that the nerve damage was already there and there's nothing that they can do to bring the nerve damage back. Okay. So when we met Kathy, we uh, evaluated her and did a special test here in our office, which is called neurosensory testing with the PSSD device. It's a non-painful, non-invasive technique which doesn't hurt. And basically that gives us information about the degree of numbness and the location of uh, the problems in which nerves may in fact be involved. So when we did that test in Kathy, we found that she had a severe amount of numbness in a lot of the different nerves in her feet and her lower extremities, which is very consistent with, uh, with neuropathy. She was also found on examination to be a very good candidate for surgery. She had uh, tingling over the nerves when we tapped on them, and she had good blood supply and didn't have swelling of her lower extremities. And so we thought that she was a good candidate, and so we operated on, I believe, her, did we operate on your left leg first, your right leg? Right leg first, the one that hurt the most. <laughs> so we operated on her right leg. I'd like you to tell us a little bit about how the surgery was. What was it like? Was the surgery painful, or was the recovery difficult? Um, I went into the surgery, and, um, of course, you go right smack to sleep. And uh, when I woke up, the one thing, especially when I stood up, you know, to get ready to go home, the one thing I really noticed, there was no more pain in my foot. My right foot hurt the worst, and that's why we did that one first. And so when that, by the time I got home, and even after so long coming back to you, I was ready for that next leg. <laughs> and then how soon after your right leg did we do your left leg? I think it was about six months. Okay. And how far now are you since you've had both legs operated on? Well, I can, I, I get around. I exercise three times a week and I've lost 21 pounds. And uh, uh, I can get out and do more of my gardening, flowers, you know, and, and even coming to town and buying groceries, you know, to where it was such a painful chore before, you know, it's, uh, it, it's not bad at all now. <laughs> Now, when we first met, you described your pain on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst pain of your life. It was described by you yeah. as a 10. Yeah. What would you say your level of pain in your legs is today? There's no pain at all. And you also said you had severe numbness and some balance problems. How would you say your sensation in your feet or your balance problems are today? Oh, my balance.